Before ever doing elementary Chinese and videos like this, this is called Heiren Tang. In day to day life for teaching Chinese, I was just super into learning the language and connecting with people in the day to day. Why should you even learn Chinese? I'm just gonna tell you my story, starting from in Xiamen. You know what? The funny thing is, I was late a lot to events, to parties, because I would go and buy some fruit, and then I would meet the fruit lady, or I would go to the Bowser store. And really, what happened is the people in my neighborhood, and this is this is why I teach like this, but the people in my neighborhood, they became not friend friends, but acquaintances. I remember there was this one guy who became a good friend. He was Mr. Chun. And I just started talking to him. <laughs> I'm laughing because one time um, me and him and his wife and his kid, Hua Yu, were biking around Xiamen and they speak a local dialect there that's not like Mandarin at all called Mi Nan Hua. Um, comment if you know anything about the Fujian province. We're biking and the wife starts cracking up and almost falls off of her bike, no joke. And I'm like, what is going on? And she's like, do you know what this person just said on the sidewalk? And I was like, what did they say? And she's like, they said, black people can ride bikes? <laughs> the connections are the ones that I'll never forget. And that's really why I started learning so much Chinese and why I got really good at the day-to-day -day Chinese. That's why I say here on elementary Chinese, Good, good study day, day up, because if you study well, but then every day you improve. Why are you learning Chinese? I think that if you're not learning it to connect with Chinese people, you might wanna check your motives, quite honestly. And I know there's other goals for learning Chinese, you know, and you can share your goals in the comments below, I'd like to know. But for me, connecting with Chinese people, having that day to day, just a little inter like interaction, bringing a little bit of joy to someone's life, having, having a smile, making them smile, being on a first name basis it really does help you feel like you're you're at home i feel super at home where i live because i know most of the people i'm the guy at the barber shop who you've seen in one of my videos this is called heiren tongue so basically you can get a black person perm here in china to the guy and the girl who work at the hushang ai and that ai who i was talking about why my hand is white on one side but black on the back because she asked me <laughs> 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 that video is right here. You know, these are the people I see every day. You see me if you follow me on Instagram, and there, there's my account name, but you see me at the bubble tea shop. When you want to know what they recommend, so the word for recommend is Tui Jin. I'm just going to ask them what they what they recommend. Yeah. It's because I go there a lot, and the folks at the bubble tea shop, they've become kind of like the support cast of my life. Make sure that you get a moment to connect with Chinese people if you're not in China, where can you make those connections in real life? There's something very fulfilling about you know, using your language to bridge the culture gap, to make like a nice new friend. And if you don't experience it, you're really missing out. Tap and click the screen right there for videos about tones. I know tones are hard for a lot of you. And then tap and click the screen right here for an interview with my friend about how she learned Chinese. I found it really helpful and I hope it can help you too. I'm Kuejo, elementary Chinese. Good, good study, day, day up.